This is why robotic actuators are better than servo motors. Servo motor, it's basically just three things together. It's a DC motor, you apply voltage to the motor and it spins. Since it spins so fast, you need a gearbox to reduce the speed. This also increases the torque. To control the position of the servo arm, you need some type of controller. Usually these servo motors use PID. It's simple, but you only get position control and it's not back drivable. If you use this for a jumping robot and you smash the robot, into the ground, it's gonna break the teeth of the gearbox. Now let's look at actual robotic actuators. It's a brushless DC motor. It lasts longer, it's more efficient and it offers better control. It's a planetary gearbox, so this transmits a lot of torque and it's an 8 to 1 reduction ratio. This is a very low ratio, which is why this actuator is called quasi-direct drive. With this low reduction, the robot can dampen impact much better, so if the robot just smashes to the ground, it's gonna dissipate the energy through the motor. And my actuator is gonna have a field-oriented controller, which is gonna offer me to control position, velocity and torque. This motor costs $10, and this actuator costs $200. It's 20 times more expensive, and that's why I'm gonna use only four of these. Full video on my Taser Engineering YouTube channel.